Over the last year, we have seen protests all around the country and in the Bay Area in response to cases like Taylor's. But earlier this week, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis unveiled a bill that would crack down on protests. Many human rights groups are calling it anti-First Amendment, saying it doesn't solve the problems that sparked these protests. 10 Tampa Bay's Candace Aviles spoke with one group that is pushing for an open conversation with local law enforcement agencies. Rather than the governor and local sheriffs and, uh, and those in law enforcement addressing the problem, they've addressed the reaction to the problem. Dr. Clayton Cowart says Governor DeSantis's bill cracking down on protesters ignores the problem of police brutality towards African Americans. People don't just get up one morning and say, I'm going to protest. I'm going to get up and go and burn a building. I, and we're not, we're not in agreement with uh, those things that are causing danger and harm to others. But the fact is, if you really want to fix the problem, it starts with policing. Governor DeSantis's bill applies to groups of seven or more. It would make it a felony to damage property or injure a person. The bill makes it illegal for protesters to block traffic and removes liability from drivers who injure or kill anyone if they're fleeing for safety from a mob. The ACLU also spoke out against the bill, calling it an attack on an American's First Amendment right. Dr. Cowart says what is really needed is police reform, training, and changes to their current violent mindset. This comes the same day the Pinellas County Sheriff announced an expanded mental health crisis response team. The people who are least qualified to address the mental health issues, which are the cops, are being called upon too often to deal with the symptoms of mental illness. Dr. Cowart says that's a step in the right direction, but leaders, including Governor DeSantis, need to address the real problems creating the protests instead of trying to quiet those crying for help. We will not be discouraged from our efforts to continue to bring light on what's going on in our country. Pinellas County is not the only local law enforcement agency to train, change their training and policies. You can see some of the changes made at other departments over the summer. That's at 10tampabay.com slash investigates.